Hey guys, how's it going? We have some more Vision Pro slash Quest Pro news today, which is pretty phenomenal. This is pretty cool. It's all about a guy who's able to use his iPhone to create the same effect as the Vision Pro on the Quest Pro. And it's, it's as if, you know, the guys from Apple and the guys from Meta are all having a party and just coming up with this stuff to get themselves in the news and just shy away, obliterate all the other competitors as much as possible. All right, let's read about this, guys, because it is quite phenomenal. Let me just zoom in. So we have the iPhone app that brings Apple Vision Pro front light display. Let me just get rid of this to Quest Pro. This is breaking news, guys. Literally just came out about five minutes ago. Written by Jan Walker King. Walker King. Not only the Apple Vision Pro shows eyes on the front screen, an iPhone pinned to the Quest Pro will soon have the same effect. And you can see the picture here. In fact, there's a video which I will show you in just a little minute. If it was, it was an aha moment at the Apple Vision Pro presentation. The front display of Apple's mixed reality headset will correctly show the wearer's eyes in perspective to bystanders. By the way, guys, what do you think of this technology? Do you think having the eyes there is good? Do you think it's intrusive? Although I think you can turn it off if I'm not wrong. Leave a comment below. Let me know. What do you think about this technology? All right, so what's the achieve? So a software tinkerer wants to achieve a similar effect with an iPhone attached to the front of a MetaQuest Pro. Why do you ask? I mean, what is the point other than just generating some news? Well, because we're a curious species. There you go. I don't have any other possible explanation for this. Do you? Leave a comment below, guys. In the Adam Quision Pro concept, the smartphone serves as a front screen that displays the movement of the eyes area behind it. These are captured by the Meta Quest Pro's eyes, eye, excuse me, and face tracking, which sends the motion data wirelessly via WLAN to the iPhone. The iPhone then renders the correct 3D perspective of the user corresponding to the line of sight of a spectator. Quest Pro gets, gets eyes of Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so that's just another title. Reddit user West Palpitation 7066 aka Adam is currently working on the necessary apps for the iPhone and Quest Pro. He plans to release the program for testing soon. So that's pretty cool guys. So there'll be an APK or something you can test. So when it comes out, I'll definitely put a link in the description below. So do come back to this specific video, you know, in a week or whatever it might be, as I will put the link there or when it is, maybe I'll do another video. So hit the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified of that video coming. Before that, however, uh, some fine tuning is needed. The developer said on Reddit in a YouTube video, he has already posted first impressions that make even more possible than the deliberately simple implementation on the Apple Vision Pro. So basically here is the actual video. Let me just can the music as I don't want to have anything flagged. So check this out guys. He put a accessory there on top of his Quest Pro and then boom. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below, hit the likes guys, so more people get to see this video and we can also, of course, increase the number of members to join VR Essential. Sorry, I'm just super surprised by it. I mean, look at this. This is so awesome. <gasps> this is so awesome. Check this out, guys. Oh, wow, a little bit of code. Okay, so he's explaining how he basically do it. Let me just, let me just go backwards again, there we go. So Quision Pro, he's, he names it, all right? So he's got the Quest Pro. He's got his IP address there, all right? With the eye tracking, so he's showing that it all works great. Then he gets his iPhone. All right, and there you go. He shows his avatar self, which is pretty amazing. Wow, okay, and then that shows basically the tracking software. That's tracking really nicely, guys. A little bit of code later. With a little funny cat there, that's so hilarious. Connect them with a iPhone. I mean, this is pretty amazing, guys. The tracking is phenomenal. Really, really cool. And I guess that with his, you'll also be able to customize the actual avatars and all, and the 3D effect is just mind boggling. Really cool, guys. So, so weirdly fantastic. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below about this because this is 
just phenomenal and you just swipe and all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at that. I wonder if the Vision Pro is going to be able to do that. Do you guys think it's going to do that where you can actually swipe and, and do stuff on the front? I mean, do you think this is something that you'd love to see on a VR headset? Or is it just super, super gimmicky and, you know, it serves no purpose whatsoever? Or do you like, you know, the customization and the, the fact that, you know, it, it's, it brings color to VR. What, what do you guys think? I'd love to get your thoughts on this. Hit the likes, guys, if you like this kind of concept. And also add your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's, let's have a discussion about this because this looks really... I mean, look at this. <laughs> you can actually play a game and have animals and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that is just phenomenal. This guy is crazy creative. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal what you can do. It's just look at that. Isn't that awesome, guys? <laughs> isn't that I mean, isn't that freaking awesome, guys? It's just really. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's just finish the article. Uh, while the Apple headset only shows a slightly darkened animated area around the eyes of the front, the implementation for the Quest Pro and the iPhone is way more playful, and I definitely, definitely agree. Do you guys agree? Smash the likes if you do. Sometimes the eyes of the Tokoise Quest Pro, as we saw, avatar appear. Sometimes the cartoon eyes in the style of The Simpsons, or what appears to be a direct look into the brain with eyeballs floating in front of it. Even small pets can be seen wandering through the virtual space between the VR headset and the iPhone display which is what we just saw. Although the iPhone covers some of the Quest Pro's camera, the tracking is still surprisingly good. Wes underscore palpitation 7066 says, to use the Quest Pro's pass-through mode between his experiments, he even added a 3D printed folding mechanism to the VR headset. Okay, so he actually 3D printed that little part there to put onto his headset. So maybe he'll have the file also available uh, for people to be able to download it. So there you go, guys. I think that's it, really. Just wanted to bring you the breaking, breaking news. Make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I'll try to bring you breaking news as fast as possible. The fastest news breaking channel in VR today. All right, guys, see you later. Smash the likes. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.